so I just wanted to to share that I always had this feeling of uh, lack of communication skills. Not that I'm not able to 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 communicate well, but I was always like a shy child. Mm-hmm. And although through my adulthood life I was able to overcome to a certain point, I always have that inner uh, fear to to say certain things or I don't know. So sometimes it happens more than others. Others I can control it better. Uh, so I always have this fear. So I, I just don't know why. And I would like to see if, if anything is possible to to see what's going on there. What if you say the wrong thing? Yes, I guess part of that is um, the fear of being wrong, especially at work. Mm-hmm. Or, or uh, yeah, I, I think that could be part of it. Okay. But I'm not sure if it's the only thing or if there are many okay. others. So let's start there. So are you willing to destroy the belief that it's better not to, not to communicate well or to stop from communicating than to say the wrong thing? Yes. Oh, that's not moving. Interesting. It's not moving? Oh, no. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that's not moving at all. Uh, hmm. That's weird because it's not even like, usually there's a, like a quiver that like you want to move, but it's just sort of like a dead space. That's neat. Okay. So, have you ever said the wrong thing? I've said many times. Okay. And what was the result? I guess, I don't know. Um, reject. Maybe that's, that's something there. So, are you, try, are you trying to avoid rejection? Yes, I, I would say. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to do whatever it takes to avoid being rejected? Ooh, there's some energy. (laughs) Yes. Does everyone need to like you? I think I, I like to think that. And it's been hard not, even though it's not that, like I know it's not, it, it wouldn't matter, but it's just got kind of rooted in me that why, why, why would you, like what, what am I not to be uh, liked or not be nice? Something like that, I, I guess, I'm not sure. Okay. So, Are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to be seen as a nice person? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to be liked by everyone? Yes. (laughs) Okay. How does it feel when someone doesn't like you? Uh, most of the time, sad, but other times I feel angry. Be- depending on the situation, if it's at work or if it's because I said something that I know I'm right, and, and people try to, especially at work, I-, I will I will think the second situation when I know I'm right. Mm-hmm. So I try to 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 look carefully for my words, and I think that's one I cannot communicate better because I'm thinking too much of which words, which choice of words to, to come, uh, to make my point across. Mm-hmm. And then, I, and then my communication stops or like, it's not being as fluent as I would like to. Oh, okay. So there it is. So are you willing to destroy your need to be right all the time? <laughs> yes. Okay. You're not going to move on that one either. Okay. (laughs) 
So being right is cool, but it's not always productive. It's not always conducive to relationships. It's not, it, not, it doesn't always move you forward. Sometimes being wrong is a wonderful thing, right? So things like, um, there's no way I can make a million dollars this year. Oh, look, I was wrong. <laughs> there's no way I can meet the love of my life in the next two days. Oh, look, I was wrong, right? So oftentimes when we strive to be right, we're limiting ourselves in huge ways. And oftentimes when we have to be right in front of everyone else, then that's, that's screwing up our communication, that's screwing up our relationships. So when you look at it that way, are you willing to be wrong? It doesn't have to be all the time, but are you willing to be wrong? There we go. <coughs> 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 How's that feel? Good. Cool. All right. How do you feel about speaking now? Better. Okay. Yeah, I don't have this the feeling that I usually have. Mm -hmm. That I had when when I start sharing what I had to share. I, I even had that like tingling over here just because you open up and try to be as honest as you can, knowing that you have that yep. self uh thought impediment to, to to say exactly yeah no i feel better now good great all right thanks for being on thank you welcome hey this is shiraz thanks for watching this video if you liked it please remember to like and subscribe to our channel and you can check out upcoming events at www.energeticmagic.com and remember be well be aware and be magical.